Sean and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a beauty business coach and my YouTube channel BBB Beauty Business Builder is here to help you within the beauty, hair and aesthetic industry to be seen. Gone are the days when we can rely on time for exchange services. I teach and coach entrepreneurs like you to leverage their skills, find new alternative ways to generate a revenue and to become unstoppable and a celebrity in your field. So if you want to know more, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the bell, subscribe now and check out my other videos and I look forward to helping you and your beauty business. Bye for now. It is SJ Hartshon and welcome to another podcast. Um, I want to first start by apologising. There is a delay on this podcast. I got struck with food poisoning. Ah! It has been horrific. So I have been bed bound. Um, and you didn't really want to see this face on screen if you're watching us on YouTube um, or here. No, it wouldn't have happened. It would not have happened. So apologies for that. But I am back. So... Welcome. If it's the first time you're my podcast, then welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to have you. Um, I am SJ. I'm the Beauty Business Coach and my podcast is BBB. Um, I inspire and empower and coach and motivate uh, basically female entrepreneurs that want to be badass and they want to level up in the industry. Um, and I help, I help break down barriers, limiting beliefs and coach people to where they want to be. Um, so that is what I do. Um, so today's podcast and also if you are new, I've said welcome. If you are an avid listener, then thank you so much for staying connected and being one of my tribe. So wanted to talk about, um, well, firstly, firstly, if you don't know this, then where have you been? I have released my first ebook. Okay, I have released my first ebook. It is out there now for you to download. It is free. It is a free download for you. There is also, if you download this ebook, there is also something extra free, which I'm not going to tell you what it is, but that is the next step that is going to separate those that are really fucking ready to smash their goals, to make things happen, get out of their comfort zone, challenge themselves and level up in their life and business. But this is the interesting thing. Um, I think I've probably had about uh, 50, 60 downloads of this book already. And I would like to tell you that only, only 5%, so that's five, isn't it? Yes. Is it? No, it's 10. <laughs> 10%, 10% of people, mass is not my strongest point, nor is English, um, but 10% of those people, only 10% have taken that extra step. So out of these people that have got the free ebook, obviously they, they are they are dipping their toes in, they're dipping their toes in, they're, they're slightly concerned about, um, they, they've got barriers, they've got things that hold them back, they want to kind of level up in business, they want to take to the next step, they want to start um, looking and working towards their future um, and they feel, whether well, they feel a little bit lost, they feel that the industry is not like it used to be and they they want to make changes happen. So the download an ebook, but that next extra little step, which is a freebie, I will add it's a freebie, is where you have to then put yourself out there a bit more and only 10% of people are doing that okay so download the ebook and I would like to know if you're going to be in that 10% if you are well and truly ready to change your future and be and work towards what you want to be and who you want to be so that is what is really interesting about this download so it's really separating the ones that are oh, let me just dip my toe in and find out a little bit more to the ones that are like, no, I'm fucking ready. I am ready. So make sure you download the ebook. It's on all my social media bios. You can get it on there. Click the link, 
instant download, get it done now, and I will make sure that it's in this podcast link as well. So what I want to talk to you about today, which is relevant to my ebook actually, um, and the reason why it is relevant is because um, I want to talk about beliefs, beliefs that we have and beliefs of uh, what we believe of ourselves or our strong held opinions of ourselves. Now, we all have them, we all have them and we all say that this is, you know, this is why I can't do what I do because I am this, I am that or whatever it may be and I want to, I want to kind of break that down with you because these are opinions, these are opinions, you know, one of the biggest ones that I, that I come across just talking to people when I'm out and about, friends, families, dates that have gone wrong, when people say, well, I've always been this way. Okay, how's it working for you? Oh, well, not too good. Change it then. You know, saying I have always been this way or I am this and I am that, uh, if it is, if it's not, if it's a belief, it's, it's, it's not a fact. It's not a fact. It's not like the grass is green and the sky is blue. You know, these these beliefs are things like, I'm not smart enough, I'm not confident enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not tech savvy enough, Uh, I've, you know, I've had a bad childhood, that could be a fact, but I've had a bad childhood and this this, this is my life, this is, you know, this is who I am, okay? We all can change, we all can evolve, we all can grow, okay? And this is what people are holding on to to uh, uh, and what they're doing by doing this, they're holding on to that, which is then stopping them progressing in the direction they want to progress in. Now, the reason why I said this is relevant to my ebook is because I am not a smart person. Limiting belief, okay? This is a belief that I've had on myself all my life. I am just a beauty therapist, you know? I'm not school smart. I'm not good at English. I'm not good at this. I came out of school with, that's a fact, I came out of school with very little grades. But all of this was leading me to believe that I was not smart enough. And this, I am not smart enough, was stopping me without realising it, without actually realising. I only realised this when I started getting coaching. This was stopping me to do certain aspects of my business and my development. And one thing that I really wanted to do was to write a fucking book. I wanted to get my thoughts down and write a short ebook. And I never could do it. I never knew how to do it because I'm not smart enough. And which is crazy because who, who said, well, People can say you're not smart enough, but who puts a label on the level of smartness to be then smart enough? And this is a belief and an opinion that either has been put on me through childhood, either, you know, sibling comparison, you know, with parents, sibling comparison at school, or just what I have put on myself by comparing myself to others. You know, having friends that are pulling better grades than me, having friends that are doing better at English at school than me, having friends that get a degree. You know, I've not got a degree. I, I don't even know. I might have two GCSEs above C. That's it. You know, I have not got any academic qualifications. I have nothing, you know, and all these people out there, you know, same as me, they are saying, well, I'm not smart enough. You know, I came out of school with nothing. Does it fucking matter? Does it matter? Yeah. This is a belief that you have took on. You have took on this belief, which is a strong held opinion. Now, if this strong held opinion is holding you back, then you need to challenge this strong held opinion. You need to challenge it. You need to break it down. Now, the only way you can break down a strong held opinion is by doing something that will make you feel how you say you're not feeling. So for myself, I always wanted to write an ebook. I always wanted to write an ebook. Never knew that I could because I'm not smart enough was my strong held opinion. But I was thinking, you know what? No, no, that is not who I am. Nobody's put that label on my on me apart from me, society, and maybe family unintentionally. Um, 
I can challenge this. I'm smart in other ways, okay? So what am I smart doing? I, I have a lot of knowledge. I have a, not a, a lot of knowledge. I've got a lot of confidence. I've got a lot of, um, you know, uh, positivity in me. And I thought to myself, you know what? I can't put pen to paper. I can't type and, and get my thoughts down, but I can speak. I can speak and I can get my thoughts into a text format by doing a voice note. So that is exactly what I did. I put, I, I set up my phone on a voice note and I recorded myself. I recorded myself speaking about this book, what I wanted to include in these book. Writing about limiting beliefs is one of the main key topics in my book. Um, and I wanted to get all this down on in text format to then put into my downloadable book. And I did that. I did that. And granted, I had to get a lot of people. You may be listening. I got three people to spell check it for me. Um, I got a lot of people to check it, read it, do a lot of grammar corrections. But you reach out. These people didn't charge me. These are friends. These are family members. These are people that, you know, you know, I'm very close to and, you know, that respect me and, and I have mutual respect for them. And they did this for me. So I then end up having a, a an ebook there. So then what happened with that limiting belief? What do you think happened with that limiting belief? I have always said to myself, I'm not smart enough. Fast forward two weeks of creating this ebook, yeah? I then sat there and read this ebook myself. And then what did I think to myself about this limiting belief? I was, shit, I'm fucking brainy as fuck. Wow, I read it and I'm like, damn, yeah, she's smart enough. So now what's happened to that limiting belief? That limiting belief, I challenged it. I broke it down. I broke out of the comfort zone. I broke out of my safe zone, out of my safe zone of not being smart enough. I broke out of that. I challenged it by doing something that I deemed would make me feel smarter. I achieved it. I've then gone on this little upward cycle. I've then ended up with my end product that I now read, I look at, and I'm like, yes, I am smart enough. So what I want to ask you, what I want to ask you right now is what limiting belief do you have, Your what strong held opinion do you have of yourself that is holding you back in your development in life and business? Think about what you always say to yourself. Think about what you always keep saying to yourself. I can't do this because of that or this or whatever it may be. What is it that you are always saying to yourself? Find out what that is. And then what you need to do is you need to challenge that. You need to look at that and think, right, what can I do that will make me feel smart enough, feel confident enough, feel tech savvy enough? And then you learn it and you do it. You learn it and you do it. And when you then see that end result, you're going to look back and think, damn, I am smart enough. I am tech savvy enough. I am confident enough. You have to harness and recognize that this belief is holding you back. And if it holds you back, find it, challenge it, take action and you will then be on an upward cycle. This is what we all have to do. We have to do this with all aspects of our life because if we don't, what happens is we stay in our comfort zone and our comfort zone will kill all our passion, our creativity, our goals, our dreams, our aspirations. We will just continue plodding along in life, not challenging anything and just be safe. If you want to level up, you want to hit these big goals, you want to break free, you have to recognize these beliefs that are holding you back. And when you do, you challenge them and you will feel amazing. So that is what I want you to do. This podcast, a little, this podcast, a little bit of a lesson, a little bit of a lesson. So yeah, that's what you want to do. Think to yourself right now, when you are about to do a task, when you're about to do something, you're about to go live on social media, you're about to put out some content, you're about to go to the gym, go for a walk, go out around town, whatever whatever it may be, doesn't have to be about business. Think, of, excuse me, I've just eaten. Think about what you say to yourself. 
what do you say to yourself all the time? Oh, I can't do that. I'm not this. I'm not that. I'm not whatever. Think about what that is. And whatever that is, is it a fact? Question it. Is it a fact? Who has labelled that as a fact? And also who has, lebel, lebel, who has labelled that as a level that you have to be to then be tech savvy enough? Then you want to challenge it. Challenge it. If it is about being tech savvy enough, if you don't know how to edit videos or whatever, Google it, YouTube it, learn it, find out how, implement it, take action, and then you will be on the upward cycle. And then what will happen is you will have this new gratification for yourself. You will then have outside gratification because that's what's happened with me with my ebook. The amount of people that have messaged me and saying, Oh my God, SJ, you're so smart. This book is amazing. What a fantastic read. And I'm like, Oh my goodness, are they really telling me that my book is a good read? You know, obviously the content I know is good because that's what I'm passionate about and that is what I coach and I teach. But way, the way the book is written, it, you know, that to me is alien that somebody is complimenting my level of smartness because that is not me. I, I, I believe that I wasn't smart enough. So you have to challenge it because now I am enough of everything. I am enough of everything. And if there is any creep of doubt that gets in my mind that thinks, oh, oh, I can't do that. I'm not, oh, I'm not confident in that. I, I, I stop. I have a moment. If I have to learn or Google or research or, you know, or, or try and harness um, somebody else, you know, that is also another thing as well. If you feel that you're not confident enough, if you feel that I can't do that because I'm not confident enough, think of somebody who is confident. Think of that person that person, who do you, who do you, who do we need to harness to be that person to then raise that confidence? And I guarantee there's no such thing as a confident or an unconfident person. Yeah. There's people that excel in confidence in certain aspects than other aspects. So if you're not confident with talking on camera, what are you confident in? And that's the person you need to be. You get that person you, you feel her, what does she feel, what does she think, how does she speak, how does she come across, how does she stand? You harness that to then deliver that one thing that you feel you haven't got the confidence in. You have then challenged that limiting belief on yourself. And then when you get the gratification, the feel-good gratification from others and yourself, you will then believe, you know what? I am smart enough. I am confident enough. And you will just keep going and going and going. And you will find you will just be on this continual upward cycle. And this is what's really important, you know, because we all need to grow as a person. You know, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, you're changing. No, we are growing. I don't want to be the same person I was 18 years old. You know, that's not the person I want to be. I've grown, I've developed, I've expanded my knowledge, my skills, my uh, my development as a person, a businesswoman, as a mother, as a friend, as whatever may, you know, what, what, whatever life has brought me, I have developed and grown. I've left people behind as I've grown, as we do, but I've gained new people that inspire me to grow more. So if you do not challenge these limiting beliefs, you will stay in your bubble. You will stay in your comfort zone. And what you will do, you will blame everything around you before you put blame on yourself. You'll blame everyone around you and you will not take control of what is limiting you and these strong held opinions that are limiting you. Only you can change. Only you can step out of your comfort zone, which is uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not meant to be easy. It's not meant to be easy to break from your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is nice. It's safe. It's nice. But you'll die in your comfort zone. You'll be miserable in your comfort zone. You won't develop. You will stay doing the same thing. And you'll be moaning year on year out that you're not happy and you've not improved in whatever aspect of life. It's not easy to break free from that comfort zone. But as soon as you do, and as soon as you start challenging these strong held opinions you have of yourself and putting action in place, you will then start to see the rewards and you will be on a continual upward cycle. And you know what? You will just keep going. You will then see another limiting belief as you then develop and you'll think, wow, OK, that's holding me back. Let's challenge this. Let's challenge this. I ain't having this holding me back. I need to get to this. I need to get to that goal. My next step is this. 
And this limiting belief is stopping me make that next step. So what do I do? I look at that limiting belief. I challenge it. I rip it to bits. I think, right, what can make me believe that I am what I say I'm not? And then you start taking action and then you get reward and you are just up, 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 up and away. So yes, as you can see, I am really passionate about this because we all have them and they don't stop coming to you. You know, as you start surrounding yourself with people that you inspire to be like and you admire and you are you are working up in terms of your business and your life development, you're going to come across people that you will just think are oh, completely incredible. You envy their badass. And you're like, oh my goodness, why can't I be like them? And then you will start having limiting beliefs that will start creeping in. You grab them, you break them down, you smash them, you challenge them and you keep going. And that is how we grow and we develop and we evolve as human beings as well as entrepreneurs. So the lesson for t- the lesson, this is meant to be a podcast, but it's a lesson now. Fuck it. It's a lesson. I want you to think to yourself, what do you say to yourself every day? Every challenge that comes across, what do you continue to say to yourself? Think about it. Is it true? Is it a fact? Or is that a label you've put on yourself or society or family has put on yourself? And if it is, you start finding a way to challenge that to make you believe you are what you say you're not. You you aren't what you say you are, sorry. And then you continue to work on the upward cycle and you will get that such a feel-good factor that you have managed to challenge that belief and you are starting to see the new, smarter, more confident, tech-savvy, badass entrepreneur coming out of it. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast today. And like I've said many times, you know, my area of expertise is coaching people in the personal care industry. But because I'm an accredited life coach now and I people connect with me from all sorts of backgrounds, all sorts of hurdles, you know, whether that be life hurdles, business, relationship hurdles whatever it may be male female it doesn't matter people can get real benefit from challenging their limiting beliefs so if you feel you've got some real good value to this and you think you know what this needs sharing then please go ahead and also if you haven't done so yet please leave me a review podcasts like this I put out there to give people help and knowledge for free to help support coach and guide you and take you on a journey that is what I do and if you feel you're getting real benefit then please share this and please share this and please leave me a review on iTunes that would be amazing and I would always ask for a five-star review obviously um but yes thank you so much have a beautiful day wherever you are and I will see you on the next one bye for now guys take care